All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. Man, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K23, I already know why you're here, man, because your jump shot is broken. I can hear y'all down in the comment section. Hey, 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 I need some help with a jump shot. I got my jump shots, and I got everything down, but I don't know why I'm missing shots randomly. Can you help me out? And you already know what I'm saying. You're doggone right. So if y'all don't do nothing else, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment cash. Now below, that's going to do two things for y'all. Number one, if we can have an 8K views this month, we're going to be giving away a next-gen console, whether it's Xbox, PlayStation, or it's uh, 500 bucks, so we might give away a laptop, something like that. Y'all let me know what you would like if you win. Number two, every single Friday, we give away $50 in VC Cash App where we give away a copy of a video game, man. That's up to you if you are the winner. We'll be doing the drawing for that on tomorrow, so make sure you like the video so we can, uh, you know, we get you in. It was a holiday. That's why we didn't do it today. Last but not least, the bots are down there, man. Make sure y'all ignore the bots, man. The bots are telling y'all that I'm, I'm on uh, Twitter. I mean, I'm, I'm on, um, they're trying to say, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Black Planet, and I'm on What's the last thing I'm on? Tiki Taki. Make sure y'all follow me on all of those, man. But I'm not on Telegram, and I'm certainly not putting my phone number down there. Make sure y'all ignore them, man. And without further ado, good afternoon out there in 2K land, man. Listen, bro. I have some tips for y'all that's going to help you guys with your jump shot. All I'm asking is that y'all rock with your boy and just kind of listen to, you know, what, what we're talking about, man. All right? That's all I want y'all to do, man. The very first step of this whole entire process is you have to get yourself a fire jump shot. That's number one. Once you get yourself, the way, how can I get yourself? I know what you're thinking. Jay, 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 how do I get myself a fire jump shot? I'm glad you asked me that question. You go to this page right here, YouTube, Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the motherfucking barber shop. And then just you just go to shopping, man, look. We have all types of jump shots. These jump shots still doing views. This joke is doing 200 views an hour. This one doing 86. You know what I'm saying? We got shorts with jump shots. We got all of these, man. The rest of them not even reporting. This one here is from this morning, so we getting, we still getting stuff. But look, we got tons of jump shots, especially for the niche audience of 6'5 to 6'9 uh, with the 80 plus three ball. But we got something for everybody. We even got one for people five seven all the way to six nine bro and we have some for the big men out there too we giving y'all some love also um look we got um let me see has he put a couple out there where's the one with with uh i got a couple of big men jump shots out here i don't know why it's showing me old stuff like this is when lj was a baby this is three years ago or whatever man but listen make sure y'all go down there go find your jump shot if you can't find one with me you should certainly be able to find one with brutal sim on the scene, wicked and mean, you know what I'm saying? Go over to his channel, uh, check that out. You'll be able to find yourself a jump shot, man. I absolutely guarantee. I'm like the wolf, I'm like the wolf man, uh, not the wolf man, I'm like, uh, what's the name, wolf? I guarantee it. Number two, the number two thing that y'all need to be doing, man, is finding yourself a jump shot. Uh, find your jump shot cue. I'm gonna help y'all do that with this. You see I'm out here, I'm shooting nothing but green goodness, man, listen. I'm gonna show y'all what I mean when I'm saying find a jump shot cue. This one right here is my OG Ananobi jump shot. Listen, you see where I'm letting it go? Let's see if we can back it up. We're gonna try to back it up a little bit. I don't even know why I hit that. I'm trying to back it up. Look, we're gonna go slow, slow forward on this guy. Look, where I have to let it go, this is exactly where I have to let it go. You're gonna see it's right here at the head of his head, and you're gonna see the elbow is pointed. Those are the two things that you have to do. That's what I mean when I say find the cue. If I let it go right there, and you actually see that I let it go, it's gonna be green every single time. I have to tell myself that, but also I need to tell myself to look for that and teach myself how to look for that everywhere, because from a different side of the court, it's not going to always look the same. So here, look. It's the exact same thing that I'm looking for. We're looking for the pointed elbow, and we want to be a little bit, little bit right above the head. The beauty of this is that this jump shot actually doesn't have to release until until it's a little bit further back. But if you this is but if you're hitting letting it go here, which is the earliest release point, when you're a little bit late, you won't be getting slightly late. So get your five jump shot, learn your jump shot cue. Also. If you can't figure out your jump shot cue and you still keep selling, make sure you do this. 
if you don't do nothing else man make sure you go and um make sure you go into your jump shot timing and find what timing works for you some people feel like they need to be on very early i'm telling you as a catch and shoot person i do not like very early for y'all i like i like early i like late and i like very late and i'm gonna tell you why you want to kind of use those because when you get these different type of catches you'll be able to understand what you need to do and you'll be able to keep up with it because if you get a let's say if you if you're on the break and you're expecting and uh, you got it on very early you can't even really hardly tell the difference between if you got a good catch a bad catch a weird catch any of that stuff and i'm going to tell y'all how to find all that information out uh in a second man i'm gonna tell y'all how to find figure that out in a second what type of catch you got how to learn your catch timings and all of that but before we do that man i gotta tell y'all part number three and y'all know what part number three is i feel like everybody should know what part number three is uh i'm sorry part number four because once you choose a time and you get your time selected you need to go put in the work and get your hot spots don't come on here not being able to shoot telling me you can shoot and this is what your shot chart is looking like no no don't come out here and you telling me yeah you, hey, you know you know people 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 be coming out here arguing with me in the wreck being complete and utter dog shit, and then they said jay 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 i can come out here i can play i can actually play the game i'm good at the game i can hoop i can hit open shots i can do all this stuff shut the fuck up shut the fuck up. I would never tell one of y'all that. I would never tell one of y'all that. But this is somebody that was trying to troll me in the wreck, and they're trying to tell me that they were a better player than me, and they're trying to tell me how they get down, and they got nothing but cold spots. Do not come out here with this, thinking you're going to hit shots. I'm telling you right now, you're not going to hit them. Don't do it to yourself. You want something that's gonna look much more like this. It doesn't have to be perfect all the way. As y'all can see, I would love to get this to be red. I would love to get this. I would, If I could get all around the three-point arc to be red, then I would be good. And the way that I can do that, I can go into my career and I can do it. But y'all can see where I shoot the basketball from, bro. I shoot from here, from the corner, and I shoot from the wing and from the corner. And I will tell y'all a hundred thousand percent. Y'all will probably be wondering if this works or if it matters. I'm telling y'all, these hash shots are so reliant on that, that it's unreal. I was literally unable to hit my hash shots reliably until I had these. So make sure you go out there and get your hot spots, man. If you don't get your hot spots, don't, don't be surprised when you're out there and you're just smoking jump shots because without them hot spots man you just like you can be effective and you can hit and i'm telling you and i know that you can because i was doing it i was being effective and i was hitting but i noticed that that long half shot i couldn't hit it nearly as much until i got my hot spots okay the next thing that you need to be doing is this so the next thing so that's that's one two three four that's four things hot spots once you get your hot spots you need to start doing this right here check your stamina before you take a shot you need to you like look check this right right here boom let's freeze it right here i got full stamina i got full stamina on this right here i know this is going to be just regular timing on this one um well actually it's going to be slightly fast time and i'm gonna tell y'all how i know that in a second but i know that's going to be regular timing on that because because i know you know i got full stamina you got full stamina you should be hitting pretty much every shot that there is like you there's no excuse except for one excuse and we're going to talk about that in one second right after this but if you got full stamina you should be you should be hitting your shots boom yet again look we come straight out there look stamina again check the stamina full stamina you should be checking your stamina as the ball is coming to you bro like right here i know brute gonna pass me the ball i'll pass it to him but pass him back look while that ball is on the way and that was really fast I'm, I check, I know I got full stamina, I take the shot. Listen, make sure you do that. It makes a whole lot of difference. Right here, yet again, full stamina. We're gonna go through this whole gambit of shots right here. Uh, right here, I get a steal, pause. I know I'm getting a steal, 
and I know, I know that after I get this steal, I'm gonna have to hot dog it down here, down this corner right here. And I know that my stamina bar is gonna be depleted or what have you. So boom, here we go. I, I, well, I thought I was gonna have to get that gambit got there first. Look, Brute is down there. I got all the time in the world. Check this stamina C. I still got full stamina. No problem. Take the shot. Cash. Pipe it up. I got them pipes on reserves. Activists. Right here, yet again, I'm, I'm, I'm in the corner. I check my stamina real quick while the ball is in the air. Full stamina. I know what it's gonna be. I already know what the shot is gonna be. Here, right, yet again. Boom, he back up off me. Check your stamina while you're doing the You're really not gonna have to check your stamina that much, but on something like this, I know that I need, you know what I'm saying? I'll be coming down the court. The ball, I'm running, I'm, I'm hauling down court. I know that this one is gonna be a tad slower just because, you know, I, I, done ran, I done ran my Gatorade bar down. So we check the stamina. You see how that was a little bit slower than the other one? Same thing, little bit slower right there because my stamina was a little bit down, man. It is what it is. Something that you're gonna have to do just before you even take those shots. Same thing when I'm in here in the Gatorade place. Make sure you check your stamina. You see how slow that is right there? I got, I'm on here. I got about, as you can see, I got about half stamina right here in Gatorade. We know that's gonna be a much slower shot than if I had uh, than if I had full stamina. So anytime you get out of that, that, that Gatorade area, you know that you're gonna have full last. And last but not least, this is the coop to grass. Again, I already know I'm gonna miss that one because I, I ain't got no stamina anyway. This is the coop to grass. This is the most important thing that you need to know. If you made it this far in the video, you are about to get the secret sauce. I'm going to break it down to you right now. The biggest thing with shots everybody complains about is shot timing, right? This is how you figure out what your shot timing is going to be. A lot of times I can, I know if I'm gonna hit the shot or not because I know the shot timing. This is what you need to be paying attention to. Your guy catches the ball two ways on NBA 2K. The only thing that you need to be paying attention to is if he catches the ball below his waist or above his waist. You see what I'm saying? Right here, the significance is this. If you catch the ball above your waist, it's gonna be that God awful, super fast timing. You can already be prepared for it and have yourself ready for it if you know this. Just cut, this is all I do right here. I cut my guy in half, I put my eye line there. If I see him catch the ball right here, I know it's gonna be the fast timing. If he catches this up here. If he catches the ball down here, I know it's gonna be the normal timing that I'm used to. So sometimes you shoot them things and you, and you begin to slightly early, uh, slightly late or whatever, it's because you caught the ball above that line. This is what you need to do. Find your player, split him into two parts, get your eyes trained on that, get used to that. And then what you'll do is, see, what's gonna happen is, you'll see if he catches the ball here, it's never gonna go below his waist. It almost, it almost teleports I can go slow in super slow motion right here, but in in like right here, you're gonna see it goes up a little bit. You see what I'm saying? But in real time, boom. It's like he just, it's, it's, it's almost like it teleports. So that's what you need to be paying attention to, how he catches the ball. One thing that I know that I've noticed too is boom. So this catch right here, I know he got his hand, and another, another, this is another thing that you can look at where his hands are when he's getting ready to catch the ball. If he's getting ready to catch the ball, you see his hands are up here in all likelihood and they, they, they're up there and they never fall below here in all likelihood it's gonna be the fast one. Just get yourself ready for the fast one. Conversely, I don't know how I got these lined up but I can tell y'all exactly what I'm going to get just depending on what, what it is. And I know that this takes so long in the video because we are breaking stuff down but man, I'm telling y'all, it's definitely worth it. This part, it's definitely worth it. Coming down court right here, hit brute, boom, check it out. Now, you see where his hands are right here, right? You see where his hands are, but you see where the ball is, the ball is down here. If his hands drop below this line, I know it's gonna be the ordinary, the ordinary timing. So let's see what happens. Right here, it comes, his hands did drop below the line, so now I know it's gonna be the ordinary timing. Like, you don't worry about the belt, the belt ain't even important. 
but you're gonna see how you see you see how i knew i could tell it was gonna be the ordinary time and now look let's see let's see in fast motion boom you can tell it's gonna be what time it is gonna be by where he catches the ball right there i knew this was gonna be the fast one i knew that's gonna be the fast timing and this guy didn't expect it i know that i can shoot the ball look now i'm telling you sometimes his hands are gonna drop low but i'm already concentrating on this his hands are up by his face when he catches this that ball never dropped below his waist it might go straight down to his waist but it's not gonna drop below his waist so look we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna put this line right here and then we're gonna back it up look it seems like it did it might drop to his waist but it almost like i said it almost just skips a frame from there to there we can do it in super slow motion if we want to but in fast motion you see that's how i know i'm gonna have that and that's what you should be concentrating on you are off ball player as an off ball player you got to be you have to be looking at literally everything up here check it out look where his hands are look he's reaching out for the ball and as such i know that they should not fall below that look even though they do fall below it because he's loading it up y'all understand what i'm saying i'm pretty sure you understand what i'm saying i know that that's going to be the faster of the two times same thing right here boom now look at this this is one of the first ones right here boom you see that right there his hands are already low so i know that this is going to be the longer time and before the ball even gets there and look 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 what's going to happen he catches the ball we got to go backwards though he catches the ball and this is going to be just a little regular timing look boom bang and I, I can hit the shots because i'm already anticipating what it should be sometimes you are going to get fooled i'm not going to lie to you you're going to think it's going to be the slow timing and it's going to be the fast one but with this one it was right on the money i knew it was going to be the faster time because it's it's not necessarily going to be where he catches it but you see where he starts the jump shot see he starts it down there instead of starting it right here so sometimes you're going to see him actually start it it's going to seem like he starts it right here right but with this one he he started it he started it low and with the different angles like i said you could probably get confused but 99 percent of the time man if you rely on this and you do this just like i'm telling y'all this one right here it ain't no doubt about it he catching the ball up by his head you know it's gonna be the fast one this one is gonna be the fast one. we're gonna draw the line right here let's see if it ever drops below his waist we're gonna see like it could be just because like i said because how og shoots it or with with your thing but i catch it up there i already know look you see how you see how how when it goes it's gonna be almost like it goes from bam like you know it's gonna be the fast one and if it wasn't the fast one i never would have got it off and it never would have been open but i knew by the, by how the ball was coming at me exactly what it was you guys as you practice this more and more you're gonna learn exactly what you're gonna get boom i knew i know what that's gonna be so just start looking at that paying good attention to that right here same deal look we on the break i got low stamina but at the same time look he reaches out for the ball the ball starts here and then I, I put it down to my waist so i already knew it was gonna be the regular one i don't know why they didn't let me shoot it immediately and then that one right there as you can see ball comes to him he catches it high never goes below his waist it's gonna be the fast one anyway man i hope hopefully this hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully this helped y'all out man if it did make sure y'all like the video and leave me a comment down below and i will holler at y'all next time and for your chance to win some of those fabulous prizes and i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ Guys, speak.